Okay, guys. I think the Triple G Wade fight has shown us for the last time all we need to know. Enough is enough. Now, I am one of the biggest Triple G fans, but even I don't like to see the Maulings like what Gennady did to Wade. I mean, going into the fight, Wade looked good. He looked fresh. He looked healthy. He even looked a little confident. But as soon as Gennady hit him, he just crumbled. You could just see the shock of energy go through his body, went through him, and his whole body just gave out. Now, Triple G wasn't throwing these big haymakers where he just caught Wade. I mean, these were just straight shots with precision that just bent the dude over. I mean, every week, after every fight, we hear domination, war dominated whoever, Mayweather, Canelo, Thurman, whoever dominated whatever fighter. But I mean, this was a prime example of domination. I mean, this fight honestly was just, it was hard to watch. I mean, I like knockouts more than the next guy, but Wade had absolutely no business being in there with Triple G. It's like the guy had no idea who he was facing. He just went in there, got hit, and collapsed. It's like his team tried to hypnotize him, tell him Gennady is some type of hype job or something. This fight reminded me of when Chris Cyborg fights in, the, in MMA. She just mauls these chicks, and then these girls look like they're, they're going to cry, like their lives are ruined, like they've been, insult, been assaulted. Man, I like competitive fights. But let's be honest, there's just no competition at 160. Gennady will run over Canelo, to run over Saunders, run over Jacobs, whoever. I honestly think Gennady could run over all three of them within three months, one month after the other, back to back to back. The problem is that fighters who know how good Gennady is they don't necessarily need a paycheck, just they're not going to fight him. It's these other guys who are two months, three months behind in their mortgage payments that fight out of necessity. Man, after this fight, I just don't think anyone's going to face Triple G. I mean, Gennady just walked up to Wade and punched him and he fell. I mean, he even let Wade tee off on him. He absorbed all his hits and he just punched him and the dude crumbled. I mean, these were just straight shots that Wade most likely could see coming, could brace for. But, I mean, it just did no good. Triple G just bent him over. I mean, Triple G is just way too strong for these middleweights. Wade was a young, strong dude. Not some old shot guy. I mean, you can say Triple G hasn't fought this guy or that guy. But at this point, does it really matter? I mean, Triple G just walked up to the guy and punched him and his whole body collapsed. It just crumbled. I mean... I like Gennady's KO streak, but the top guys are just not going to fight him. I mean, I think Abel, San Abel Sanchez said it best when he said something like, Canelo would be the best middleweight in the division at a full 160 pounds if Triple G wasn't there. Which, I mean, it seems true to me. Everyone's looking for little ways, little excuses to get out of this fight. There just needs to be a belt roundup. Someone needs to pick up all the belts. Drop him off with Triple G. Let him take a picture. Then let him move up to 168. Man, I know it's not the right thing to do. But a middleweight, there's just no one that's going to fight him. I mean, and then and then people mention 154. I mean, if dudes at 160 can't even handle his power. I mean, what is a 154 pounder going to do? I mean, Lara, Mayweather, whoever. Yes, Gennady will be weight drained, but I mean, he doesn't have to prepare for a 12 round fight. He'll need to prepare for like a two round fight at max. I mean, it won't even matter if he's dehydrated. One of the main reasons people love Pacquiao so much, other than the fact that he has a one of a kind style and a skill set, but because one, he seems vulnerable at all times, but he also faces dudes that appear double his size. I mean, he looked like he came up to Margarito's chest and he still beat the living shit out of the dude. The fact that the top middleweights will not fight Gennady says enough. I mean, just give up the belts, let Gennady accept them, vacate them, then move out of middleweight. Then let these guys fight for him again. 
try and regain the belts that they gave up. I mean, Jacob said something like any anyone, anywhere, whatever he put on um, Instagram. But man, I really don't believe that. I mean, obviously, if they paid him, you know, seven or ten million, anyone would jump in there. But you know, I can hope for it, but I don't think any middleweights are going to fight Gennady. So everyone just needs to cough up the belts, congr congratulate Triple G, and wish him well at 168. I mean, all the middleweights are going to continue looking like sissies, have to come up with excuse after excuse. It's better just to give up the title, let Gennady accept them, vacate them, or offer to challenge them for all the belts. But anyway, guys, this really isn't a rant video. Just, I was just saying, I, re I didn't really like that Wade fight, man. It was just, uh, man, that was, I, I want to see him getting some competitive matches. I know uh, Wade was a mandatory, but man, he was, he's nowhere even close to Gennady's skill set, power, strength, whatever. So anyway, you guys have a good week. Talk to you later.